and welcome to the last bullet journal setup for 2023. It is December, somehow. December is here. November went by so quickly. If you have been around my channel before, you might know that I did NaNoWriMo, which was kind of intense and took all of my focus for the month. But December is here and we are setting up a bullet journal. I knew this setup would be very basic and I still managed to mess it up immediately so just ignore that but I have always loved just like these very simple leaf designs it's actually the design that I used setting up my start of year pages or at least similar and I really liked the idea of ending it kind of where it started as always my bullet journal setups are quite bland I don't do them as like art I do use my bullet journal mostly for organization and because of that I'm not sure if I'm going to be making these bullet journal videos next year. I feel like most people watch these for inspiration and like to watch someone make something pretty and I just don't know if mine are that. So yeah I've been thinking about it going back and forth. I'm still not 100% sure but I don't know. I like the idea of making them to show that they don't need to be elaborate and pretty. I like having this time to just talk about something, um, which <laughs> these videos always turn into me talking about a topic for 10 minutes. Speaking of a topic to talk about for 10 minutes, I almost can't believe that it's December already. I had a really weird year this year. I feel like most of the kind of middle section of the year didn't happen. Um, I had some stuff going on and so yeah it's all a bit of a blur. I remember this time last year so vividly. I remember where I was emotionally, mentally, physically. I remember the friendships I was still developing. It's so wild to think that it has been a whole year. It's also wild to look back and think that I started this channel in earnest just over a year ago. It was mid to late October last year. And in that time, I have changed so much. I am a much more confident person. I had been doing YouTube on and off sporadically for a very long time, since I was about 15. But there has been something about the consistency over the past year that has just, I don't know, really changed me. For most of the year, I uploaded two videos every week. There was a while where I didn't upload at all because I was not doing well and I just couldn't. There was a little while when I was uploading once a week because I was on a holiday and didn't have like the time I wasn't sitting around. But I'm back to the two videos a week. I'm really enjoying it. I think I'm going to continue that in the new year. But it does get very difficult at times. There are times when I'm really busy with work, especially around now, around the holiday period. And at random points in the year, if I have like custom orders and things, I do get very busy. But because of that, and because I am self-employed, I do have more time than a lot of people so I'm able to make these videos and I love doing it I really do enjoy it but there is a part of me that thinks I need to not make so many videos just because it does mean I'm rushing them two videos a week is a lot and that's why I find myself making certain very like formulaic content, wrap-ups, TBRs, bullet journal setups. I know I'm not adding anything new to any kind of conversation with those videos, so I'm just not sure if I want to continue them in the future. I do have a lot of content planned, it's just a matter of properly writing, filming, editing, everything. That takes way more time than I think people assume. There's this idea that YouTube is just talking at a camera for a little bit and putting it on the internet, and that is how some people make videos and I definitely have a few videos that are like that but I really do enjoy bigger project videos. I love making sewing videos. I love making videos where I have a script, where I have something to actually say and yeah I just want to put a little more effort into what I make um, and the only way to do that is to spend more time on it so yeah I just need to either reevaluate or organize my time better or drop down to one video a week. I was thinking about three videos a fortnight, which is one less than I'm currently doing, but 
I'm really not sure. I feel like I might trial a few different schedules, see what works best, and kind of go from there. I do really enjoy making videos though. It's one of those weird things where like, I don't talk to many people in my personal life about the fact that I make YouTube videos. I've had a lot of people treat me really weirdly about it, which is strange because like, it's a hobby that I have, don't be weird about it. But some people look down on it in a very strange way. I definitely know people who make content and it is all they are. And I don't mean that in the way of they spend a lot of time doing it or they really care about what they make. I mean that like they use the people around them for content. They will start talking over you if you are talking about something to then talk about their content. There are people who go about it in really horrible ways and I think that's part of why I don't talk about it in my personal life very much. I know how much it sucks to be on that receiving end and so I'm kind of just like don't talk about it at all, do it in your own time, don't mention it to anyone, which I'm kind of fine with but there are times where like I'd like to be able to talk about it. I think it's really fun and really cool and it's a hobby but yeah, I don't know. I have, I have strange mixed feelings about content creation. I realized that I do feel weird about it during NaNoWriMo. The project I'm working on has one character who uh, is definitely going about doing social media in a bad way. And I realized as I was writing it that it was inspired by somebody I knew. And that was just a very weird thing to realize mid-project. Um, like, realizing that that's why I don't talk about it, that's why I feel weird committing to YouTube. I live with my family. I don't know if they know I make videos. It's not something I actively hide or lie about, but I brought it up once, it wasn't received well, I didn't bring it up again. So yeah, content things aside, I am really excited for a new year to start. I try not to hold myself to, like, starting things at the start of a new year. I've found that my best success comes when I start something when I feel like it. Um, new Year's resolutions and I don't get along super well, but committing to something randomly in the middle of the month works out pretty well. I'm sure I'll end up making some kind of New Year's related video about goals or something like that, but in terms of content stuff, I want to keep making videos. I find it so fun. I like that there is a schedule that I kind of am held accountable to, although no one's really holding me accountable. I, listen, I hold myself accountable. This is something I really enjoy doing. I want to keep doing it. I like being able to have a place and people to talk about the things I love, like books and stuff. Oh my god, don't get me started. I just read- okay, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> but yeah, I have- plans for book related videos, sewing related videos, all kinds of things for the new year. I'm really quite excited. But here we are at the end of the last bullet journal setup for 2023. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Like I said, I upload two videos a week so you can subscribe to see that. I usually talk about books and sewing and it's a good time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.